welcome back to Retro Rivals. Uh, my wife has harassed me for about a month now to do a game room tour. And yeah. the reason why is there's a project that she wants to get done to add to the game room. And we're gonna talk about that at the end of the video. Exactly. So keep on watching. My game room is pretty good. Uh, oh, I yeah. don't have a huge amount of games like I see some of these very serious collectors online yeah. on YouTube. They have thousands and thousands of games. I'm, we're really just starting it there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly. I've actually collected more games since you started with me. I know. I'm your enabler. She's an enabler. Yeah. <laughs> but this has come from humble beginnings where it was just yep. indoor, outdoor carpet. Uh, Terrible lights. Yeah, we yeah. did it top to bottom, pretty much yeah. in stages. There was no bar behind no, me. No there bar. Was no, there was no nothing. It was just basically a wide open living room or family room in the basement. Yep. Yeah. We made it what it yeah. is today. So, where I lack in video games, I definitely have more in the beer area. And toys. I got a lot of toys too. Yeah, and, and comic books. Comic books. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Got a lot of stuff. So, I don't know if you can see over my wife's shoulder. Come this way towards me. No, towards me. No! Me? Yeah. Yes, you! <laughs> oh, now you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. The blinking green light over there. I thought you meant That's... for me to like get out of the way so I can pan into that. Oh, good. <laughs> anyway, the blinking lights in the back. That's my first original Xbox. And it kick the bucket like many xboxes with that stupid clock, clock capacitor. capacitor yeah it uh just the xbox alone there is quite the story let's try to shoot through it fast okay i bought it um only had a couple games for it yeah wasn't crazy about no. it sold it to your brother yes then for my brother he modded it and put a bunch of games on it mm -hmm. and then it kind of started to collect dust so he, he sold it back sold to it me. back to you and then i played it for a little bit and sat on the shelf until one day I was like, oh, I really want to play some yeah. old retro games again. And the damn thing wouldn't turn it on. Died. And I fixed my fair share of 360s, mm -hmm. PS3. But it's just that small solder. stupid Xbox one, yeah. <laughs> Xbox original. I'm 0 for 2 on those things. Yeah. Um, but I do have one that works now, but I took the shell of my original one and I made a tower for my beer taps and we're gonna go check it out right yeah, now. Yeah, let's go check it out. All right, as I was saying before, um, my Xbox is here and I gutted it, threw out all that crap that I didn't need. It was all corroded and made something useful out of it. These are two beer taps out of my six. We'll see the other four here later. But first of all, somebody left an empty glass <gasps> and I need to fill it. Scottish ale. Get me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All beer that is in here is brewed here by me. Hopefully someday I can teach my son to brew when he's old enough. When he's old enough. <laughs> right now, um, let's put a comparison to when I bought this. This is a kegerator. It's a basically a mini fridge that had a beer tower sticking out of the top of it. When I bought it, it had this. It had one. Then I upgraded and I had a silver one that's somewhere in storage that had two taps on it. And then I think, well, I need to do a project. I'm bad for getting bored and feel like I need to do a project at least a couple times a year. So I thought this would add to the game room. Controllers are from eBay. They're the big Dukes. Nobody liked them anyway, but they were broken and I just converted them into handles for my bar tap. Um, the Xbox itself is pretty much completely gutted. There's just two lines in there and I threw some LED lights in to kind of make it flashy on the outside with people looking in. Let's see if I can pull this thing off with damage in there. I don't know if you can see that. Let's open it up and show you the kegs. Okay. 
You see, I have a, a Halo theme going here. Three little Halo guys up top. I got one big guy down here, man on the taps, and there's where all the prize possession is. Two kegs of beer. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Honey brown and Scottish ale. We got a beer now. All right, we're going to talk about my wife's hidden talent that I don't think a whole lot of people know about, but she paints. Yep. Uh, right back here, what goes good with beer? Horror movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. This is The Nun. Yes. The Nun from what? Ooh. The Nun. From The Nun. Yes, but that wasn't where it oh. originated. I can't remember the was name it the... of the movie. We'll pop it up here Yes, somewhere. we will. Yeah. I can't remember. Oh, the I loved wandering? it. Yeah, no. but which one, maybe, but which one was it? Yeah. Anyway. But I've... little harmless self-promotion, but it also is what makes the game room unique to us. Yeah. We have all these little, um, just unique features that are, that we made ourselves or are personal to us with yeah. what we just talked about with your kegerator. No yeah. one else has one because we made yeah. it. And same thing with the nine painting. We we made our own stuff. Everything, everything down here was yeah. built. Everything you see, all the shelves, the bar, everything except for the counter or the cabinets that are above the bar. Those yeah. were bought at Home Depot. Everything else I built. I exactly. built everything in here. Yeah. So. Even the beer. I even built the beer. You even built the beer. All right. Since we just talked about the nun painting, well, yeah. let's talk about the Marvel paintings. That's there. true. I'm a big comic book fan. Marvel is probably my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. But you couldn't decide what was your favorite between Hulk and Wolverine, I guess. So we painted them both. Well, they're both my kind of like. Yeah. I, they're, yeah, I don't know which character is my favorite. I kind of lean towards Wolverine. That might be my top character. Oh, he's fun. Yeah. <laughs> but Hulk is awesome. And then also over here, I don't know if anybody really knows, but that is Blade. Yeah. So it's awesome. She even painted the uh, reflection of the vampires in the Blade. It's awesome. Then I have my empty boxes <laughs> as kind of decoration for systems and stuff like that. My minis mostly. This figure, I actually got free. Yes, you did. Because I used my points that accumulates at my comic book store. I go to the yes. program that we're going to accumulate points. And I basically and also, got that for free. You also accumulate them at... Uh... Spin it. Yep, at Spin it. Yep. I'm going to point out something that maybe not a lot of people would know. But these glasses used to be filled with peanut butter and I don't know if it has a date on here huh. I don't know uh, if not uh, we'll uh, pop it up on the screen I to show think it says 88 88 on it so <laughs> what it when, does too is gives a breakdown of the character yeah yeah kind of stats anyway I, I remember being a kid and a huge wrestling fan yeah. Especially Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan was like my hero. Right oh, now. yeah. I think he was every child's yeah. hero of the 70s and 80s. So, we team. actually, well, we, I say we, I actually had a full set when I was a kid. And then I moved out to Ontario mm -hmm. when I was, I want to say 20 or 21. Yeah. 20, I think. And, uh, took them with me in the move, and in the move, they all broke, oh, except for except two. Her two. Except yes. for these two. Hulk Hogan and Miss Elizabeth. Now you have duplicates of them? Yeah, and I can't get rid of them. It's no. just too much nostalgia there. I, I love those things. Yeah. I collect everything retro when it comes to games, comics, you're basically trying to toys. recreate and recollect your childhood. Yeah, I had a lot of cool toys yeah. and I gave them all away. Grow up and start chasing girls and yeah. can't and have toys. And can't yeah. have toys. No. But <laughs> what we did was special for Alex. We kept some of his stuff. Yes. So hopefully he'll yeah. have his own little we, game room at some point. We kept most of his stuff. Yeah. I'm yeah. glad we have a good storage area. Oh, I know. I... Um, my game shelf, this I actually built about a month and a half ago. Yeah. Yeah. And you anticipate it not being able to fill it as fast. It's not full. You no, can see how I display 
like some of my games, they're, they're just taking up space so it doesn't look so bare until I actually get more games to fill. Yeah, like exactly. My N64 collection is pretty, pretty low. The Super Nintendo collection is pretty low. The you know? Master System selection is... Oh, I have two Master two. Systems, but to my defense, I only got the Master System, what, two days, three days ago? Two days ago. Two yeah. days ago. So, yeah, just give me a month there. And I'll exactly. Um, I don't know. I love Nintendo. You can see I'm going to end up filling up multiple shells with just Nintendo stuff. And Sega Genesis, I think, would be my second favorite. I'd like to ask for the viewers... Is there a game on here that you just like, you're like, I cannot believe I got this game for that price. I know we did pick up a game recently for a great price, but what is it that you're like, this was a steal of a deal or I can't I'm, believe I got this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you my steal of a deal here. All right. And that was the one I was talking about. This was the steal of a deal we got two days ago. Two days ago, yeah. Same day we got the Sega Master System. Went to our local pawn shop, and I was like, oh, oh my god, Silent Hill, Silent Hill, Silent Hill. And I was, I was he literally excited said it like just that. by the cover. Yeah. And then I looked at the sticker price. Is the sticker price still in here? It's not in there, but I do have a picture of it that I took okay. on my cell phone because I was pretty excited about it myself. It's complete. It's in great shape. It was 30 bucks. Yep. $30. So I ran out of there. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll take a screenshot of our Facebook page for yeah. anybody that wants to follow us on Facebook. We're uh, uh, www.facebook.com forward slash retro rivals, I do believe. And yeah, it's right on there with the caption, start the car, start the car, because we were pretty excited <laughs> to get that for the oh, price we man. got it for. Yeah, I was tickled pink. Uh, we have a friend there, one of our rivals gang, yeah. Dennis. Loves the Silent Hill series. Pretty sure he said he played through it because he had a copy of it. Yes, he did. All right, through the power of editing. Yes. We forgot to mention that with the paintings, we have plans, or my wife has plans, to fill the wall completely. Mm -hmm. Completely across. So we're going to get at least four, maybe five more. Yep. Four for sure. Four for sure, but four we need to sure. put one over where our clock is now. Yeah, well, that one's going to be a uh, horror, horror themed. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to stick with the comic book. Oh, uh, we have Super Nintendo. That's not a huge collection. Same with my PlayStation. It's all work in progress. Mm -hmm. The majority of my games, I think, would be PS2 and 360 and original Xbox. Yeah. Um, those are my bigger collections. PlayStation 3 will probably be coming up in Nintendo after We're doing that. not too bad on Nintendo, yeah. Yeah. Uh, something else we want to talk about here? I, my comics. All right, let's talk about my comics. I, this is only two of many. Yeah. But uh, I decided to put those in a little shadow box display. Yeah. Because I had it. Did you pick it up at a yard sale, the shadow box? Or I think, was it your mother? I think it might have been mom. Yeah. Yeah. All right, shout out to the, to the mom. Yeah. <laughs> To the mother-in-law, mother well, my mom, your mother-in-law. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, for people that don't know, which I don't know how many people actually are reading comics or that are following me, we don't have a whole lot of followers here, but this is the first appearance of... Harley Quinn. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Do you know what the Hulk comic is? I cannot remember, but I feel like I got that one for you, didn't I? Yes, it was a Christmas gift. Yeah. Since we're in this area, we're going to talk about the Sega Master System that we picked up two mm -hmm. days ago. And it's not hooked up right now, but we did we did try it. It works great. And it's in great shape. I mean, it only came with one game, Slapshot. There it is. Yeah. Ah. This is uh, my CRT television that I love to play light gun games on. Yeah, we got it for free. Yes, this was a free, and it is a big old sucker. That is why I got this, was for... Duck play. Hunt. Duck Hunt especially. I said, I am not a good father unless I get my son to play Duck Hunt. And I think we have some pictures of that. I'll yeah. have to pop those we'll up pop on the screen. Up. Yeah. Yep. Uh, first time playing Duck Hunt. He was so excited. <laughs> and it just makes us so excited when he's so yeah. excited to play especially stuff. Especially when he like enjoys that. things that I loved when I was a kid. Exactly. Nostalgia. exactly. This is what I call the wall unit. I don't know if that's a Canadian saying or what, it might but be. it's the entertainment center, I guess. Yeah. And it has seen a lot of changes too. 
Oh, yeah. From oh. the very first one we had down here that is now upstairs. I built that one, too. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. you built this one into the wall and then modified this. Yeah. This. this is actually sunk into the wall. Yeah. So you, I'm gaining probably four inches so it doesn't shorten up my room. I mean, four inches, it's not that much, but hold my beer as hold well. Beer. Hold my beer moments. Um, something cool I made more for my wife than for me. The little shelf that the Connect is on, also my Wii sensor is on. Yes. Um, the TV will pull out and turn to wherever she wants to play her dance Just games. Dance. I don't know if you guys picked any of that up on the shelf over there, but there are quite a few. I think she's just got them all. Dance. I have a surround sound system with a 65 inch TV that plays all my modern stuff. The TV and that went upstairs, I don't remember what the hertz was on it. It was a lower hertz rate, it just gaming wise for fast. Gaming for when we got really fast gaming. I really noticed it when we played Rock Band. And you had yes. four people playing, it started to almost shudder a little bit, or get choppy, the frame rate dropped. Yeah. So, this is way better. Oh, yeah. So, this is my surround sound speakers there. I got the three in the front, I got two in the back behind the camera. Um, yeah. I have my Super Nintendo, and then I have the classic right beside it, the Mini. Also, same thing goes with the Nintendo, the Mini beside it. You'll notice that the Sega Genesis is here, all by its lonesome, and then it's got this old... Xbox 360. Yeah. In September, September 19th. September 8th, I think. Is it? I don't know. I'm or making an update. We will figure it out. We have it pre-ordered. Yes. The Mini is coming. It's coming! I can't wait. Yeah. So this sucker will go somewhere else. I don't know where I'm putting it yet there, but it'll all be redesigned again. Again yeah. for the And you're also going to time. redesign it to have more space up here too. Yes, so I can fit more consoles in there. Yeah. I see I have the whole Xbox family here. Yeah. You get the original, the 360, and the one. I have a PlayStation 2 that is modded. I have a PlayStation 3 that I also bought for 20 bucks because it was broke. Anyway, that's all fixed. Um, we'll just call it. We'll call it the our la the Last of Us um, console because basically that's, that's why, why we, we bought it. it. That's why we bought it was for the Last of Us, and, and I, that's why we will buy a PlayStation 4. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Down here, you'll see I have a Wii. This Wii is modded, it is pimped out, it has all the Nintendo, all the old yep. classic games on there. Um, it has all my backups for Wii and GameCube on there. I also have a GameCube beside it. I'm gonna give a shout out for my modded Wii to oh, Denver yeah. Gamer. Don't yeah. forget about Denver Gamer. If, uh, if you wanna mod your Wii, Go to Denver Gamer on YouTube. We're going to put a link in there. Yes, we will definitely put a link in the comment section. He's an awesome dude there. He's got really easy to follow tutorial for modern Wii's. Um, he also likes the same genre that I do. For yeah, Wii. he's a beat-em-up beat -em -up guy. Beat-em-up guy. Yeah. There's the world of beat-em-ups. Those are awesome videos. Yep. Keep it up there, Denver Gamer. Yeah. So I got the N64 for... You know, about 17 or 18 bucks. Yeah, it was, was a really, awesome. really good, good really deal. good deal. And My only console that I kept from when I was a kid is the Sega Genesis, the second one, the uh, not the first edition, but the second edition that's down here. The Retro 5, everybody knows what the Retro 5 is. Yeah. It's five, actually there's more. Yeah. More now because I have the adapter, three in one adapter. There might be nine or ten consoles, retro consoles I can play on this now. Yeah. Most of these systems are hooked up that are HDMI. They're hooked up and ready to go right now. The other ones, I have a composite video. And I've just tucked the wires in there. And they're, really all, they're all there. What I'll do is I'll just pull the wires out and I hook it up into this. This is like a quick connect. Yeah. Hook it up, throw it to the TV if that's how I want to play it. Um, you're going to notice that there's a heavy hockey theme in here. And do not judge me, I was brainwashed from a very early age yes i have my montreal canadians theme here i have the cups i have the jerseys this jersey i actually got when i was in montreal the only time i went and seen a game my uncle took me up i think i was 19. wow yeah, that's a mark recchi jersey nice what's this hold your glass up face camera and now to the power of editing and now we got full beer well you got half beer all right yeah. this shelf is basically storage for controllers 
some of our handhelds. These three over here, well, exception of this one was supposed to be mine, but my son took it over. Yeah. So those three are probably are basically my sons. Um, Vita, mine, don't touch it. I break your fingers. No, I'm allowed to touch it. <laughs> no. I'm well, allowed to touch it. No. <laughs> PSP, mine, but you're allowed to touch it. You <laughs> this pink thing there, I... Don't touch it! That's mine. Don't touch it. All That's right. my golf machine. Alright, that is a golf machine. As you can see, I got all kinds of controllers. 360 controllers, PlayStation 3 controllers. This is actually a PS2 Logitech wireless controller. I love it. Um, you get down here, I got my WaveBird, Sega Master System, some uh, PlayStation 2, there's a, PS, uh, play, a PC controller, got your Nintendo, your Super Nintendo, N64, third party, Ooh. right? Aww. GameCube, there's a couple of legit GameCubes in there, but those are third party also. And then you got my Wii, my original Xbox, I got four of them there, so all my friends can have an original Xbox controller when we play. And if I don't like you, you're getting the third party one. Yes. Oh, bitch. Fifth friend. <laughs> Mitch. Mitch. Wow, poor Mitch. <laughs> yeah, this has all my backups for my 360. Yeah. That's what you call them when backups. you have a modded Xbox, you call them backups. I've learned that online. I have a small PSP collection, but they're yeah. pretty cool. We'll zoom in on those. Uh, same with my Vita collection. Small collection. There are still a bunch that I want. But they're hard to find. They are hard to find. They're hard to find in the yeah. city. And with eBay, why, why, why do you want $20 to ship that little thing? Ooh. Mm, eBay. <laughs> yeah. Atari. Awesome. Got a couple of box games there. Look good. Yeah. Just some random Blu-rays. And there's my 3 one adapter. What we talked about for my retro vibe. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do here with this one. Game Gear, Master System cartridge, and Master System card. Oh. I know what that is. It kind of looks like a big computer chip. Nice. Never had one though. We'll have to try to get one. I'll have to try to get one. Yeah. Other than that, there's not a whole lot to talk about on this one. So, oh. let's move that way. Yes. This would be the Keezer. Four other beer taps, so that's six. Mm -hmm. Six beers on tap in total. Where I lack in games, I make up for in beer. In beer, exactly. So, we're talking like this is the best bar in town. Where else can you go and play retro games and drink for free? And uh, yeah. Right? Now we're going to have too many friends for the basement. <laughs> I'll have friends. Facebook friends like crazy. I want to be your friend. Be awesome. I don't have that many friends. <laughs> yeah, but the friends we have are amazing. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Shout go. out to the Retro Rival Gang. Retro Rival Gang. Um, yeah. The Keezer has four beers on tap. We have a Belgian Saison, which will wreck you in a hurry there because it is strong yeah <laughs> speaking of strong it wasn't supposed to be strong i don't know what i did wrong in the process of brewing that one but that sucker will peel paint <laughs> oh i don't know what the ipa awesome love it love it but that's it. also strong it's 6.6 percent .6%. but you don't taste it the flavor yeah. the beer flavor is still there yeah over this belgium we have the kryptonite that lovely green concoction that is a lemon lime Home brew yeah. rattler. What was it? It was lemonade and limonade. Yeah. Combined with beer and a little bit of soda or pop or whatever you want to call it, wherever you're from. And then we also have an orange grapefruit rattler, which is very popular, especially around here. Yeah. This was given to me by our friend, uh, Pat, which was. Given, given to him. him from one of his friends, and he thought that would look great in the bar, and it's awesome. It is. This is the map of New Brunswick. This is where we live. Yeah. Um, we'll let you guess at which one of these. We've said, I think. Probably we've pale said ale. it. Oh, I have a pale ale. I think it was an IPA. Fermenting as we speak. Yeah. And so I have to drink like a madman because I don't have an empty keg. That's true. And I need a friend to come over and help drink the beer. Is there any friends out there that would like to come drink the beer? Yeah. <laughs> but Let's talk about this yeah. over here. This. You, that's on the screen. This. Can see it. I think the kitty cat will come over as soon as the door opens. Yeah, she's looking at me. Anyway, this is the dartboard. 
This case was made by me and painted by my wife. Very tediously, and it was my first real foray into <laughs> painting. Used to play a lot of darts when I was younger. Yeah, we every now and again play it. And Once in a while, it. I have an uncle that comes up and visits, and then he comes up and schools me on darts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Other than that, I really don't play anymore. You and I play every now and again, but... And I school you in it. <laughs> and then I end up rage quitting. Yeah. Since we started to talk about this, and I never did mention anything, I already told you why I put this here. Yeah. Do you want to tell her? You want to do? No, no, you go ahead. Do the impression. No, I don't want no. to. <laughs> I, I put it here, and then I told her, I say, anytime I want a beer, I'm gonna give you my Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. Get to the chopper. See, I would have butchered that. Get to the chopper. Yeah. I don't know. I, uh, that's should... probably pretty bad too. Well, no, I thought it was great, but we should have a sign somewhere that says, Get to, get the, to the Chopper. Chopper. That would be awesome. Yeah. Get to the Chopper. Maybe we cross you with the bottom. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. The so. top. I don't know. That'd well, be cool. we can move that up a little bit and put Get to the Chopper. Get to the Chopper. Can you, like, pop up Arnold Schwarzenegger? Maybe give it a thumbs up or something. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be uh, awesome. Yeah. All right, let's get to the final thing for this room. Yeah. This banner is covering a door and I will say thank you to Margie for donating this banner because she knows I like the Montreal yeah. Canadiens and she works at a certain store and it was part of a display and they were going to throw it out so thank you appreciate it but this door covers up an ugly old fuse panel yeah so what our plan is is to we're going to fill this with wood, tongue and groove like the bar. Have another post like this on that side. We'll center it up. And then my wife is going to do another painting. Yeah. The painting is going to be, we've decided on, Super, Super Mario, Mario 3. 3. In the same dimensions as the actual... Box art. Box art. Yeah. Cover, you know, cardboard box that your, your Nintendo used to come in. And it's going to hang up there. I think that's going to look amazing. Yeah, I think so. And the plan is you're going to record or take pictures. Yeah, I'm going to record and take pictures. Um, I the don't, whole process. Through the whole process. You've yeah. already built the frame. Yep. Um, but I'm not sure if there's any fans or people that want to know how to do it. But I'm going to take pictures of and videos of wrapping the canvas. Um, we, we make all our own canvas here. I do do some paintings on the side. Yep. So we started building our frames, which you do, and I wrap the canvas. And then I'm going to take some video of uh, the painting. And then when it's all done, we'll come back. We'll do a quick reveal of, of this finished corner because it yeah. looks a little unfinished right now. It does. Um, I think that's all we have for this room. This is the game room. Yeah. The family room. The Retro Rivals Gang Hangout Spot. Yes, the it is. The best bar in town. The best bar in you town. You can drink for free and play all the games I got. Like